Hehe, <laughs> looking real nice. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that I'm a VTuber now. Hehe, <laughs> just kidding. Or am I? Okay, so let's start with this guy. Look at this guy. He looks so emo and angry at the world. He just like me for real. So this is what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna sketch out the face. So I read my old description of him, and it basically just says that he's always angry. So we're gonna focus on that. We're gonna add some spice. So the first change I'm gonna do to my character is the hair. See, his old hair, it's cute, it's fluffy, but it's not scary, angry. So instead, I'll make him have spiky hair, just so he looks scary, I guess. I don't know. Then I'm gonna add a piercing. <laughs> Smegzy. Listen, the goal here is to turn him into an e-boy. Aha, uh -huh. and Smegzy e-boy, okay? So now I'm gonna start coloring. So back then I used to color with very warm colors as you can see, but that can't be me anymore because now I'm edgy. I use cool tones now. Smegzy vampire tones. Ain't it hotter. I'm also making his eyes darker and the lips juicier. For the eyebrows, just using lasso tool and airbrush it. Now, for the hair. Again, I'm edgy, okay? I don't really use bright colors like that bright red, but I'm gonna find a way to incorporate that, of course. Okay, so let's shave this bad boy real quick. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna make the ends of the hair fire red. So his hair is gonna be a gradient mix of black and red, like Flaming Hot Cheetos. Oh yes. Alright, now let's just continue working on the beautiful face. Basically, I'm just adding more details and shadows, and I just made his eyes have piercing pupils. Okay, so jewelry is very important. Like, even in real life, it could literally elevate your outfit, okay? And your whole vibe. So, I'm gonna give him a necklace. Just a plain old silver necklace, nothing too extra. Oh, and also add the juicy eyelashes. And then, just to make him even more spicy, Let's add tattoos. First, I'm gonna put a rose tattoo on here. Just slapping on a bunch of petals like so. Oh yes, very hot. Oh, and also, parents, if you're watching this with your children, these are temporary tattoos, okay? I am not a bad influence on your children, okay? Okay, so it looks too fake, so let's just lower the opacity a bit and liquefy to blend it in with the skin. Funny thing is, I don't have a tattoo, but I got lots of temporary tattoos stickers i just put it on sometimes whenever i go out and my asian mom like i could feel her judgmental asian eyes on me anyway so he's a pretty angry guy so like in my mind he gets into fights often so just to show that he gets into fights i'm gonna give him a bandage on his nose okay very cool and just like that it's finished oh yes he went from a very mid roblox character to a smegzy flaming hot cheeto we interrupt this program to bring you Demo Creator. So like, are you looking for a screen recorder so you can showcase your thirst trap art? You know, which just so happens to have virtual avatars as well, so you can be a VTuber. Well, Demo Creator has a free to use software just for that. We are now at the Demo Creator Studio where you could do your basic material girl stuff such as recording and you can also pick your avatars right here and here are the controls and here you can switch scenes like so so they have this new feature the virtual avatar which you're seeing right now look at me looking real smegzy now there is a variety of avatars you can choose from, such as this classy, elegant lady, or a hot guy, ooh la la. Now all you need to do is just connect it to your webcam, and it's basically easy to use, okay? So once you're done with your video, you can either export it as it is, or it could go straight to the demo creator editor. Now the video editor is very easy to use and beginner friendly. It also got a lot of effects. My favorite one has to be the beauty filter because it masks all your ugliness. Oh, and juicy transitions for your juicy needs. Here's an example right here. Oh, and they got auto caption too, holy crap. I tried it out and it's like 90% accurate. I highly recommend Demo Creator, like I'm not even lying. Go try it out, it's free to use. So if you like it, it'll be right in the description. Thank you Wondershare for sponsoring this video.
Next, let us draw my other OC, Mia. Um, what the heck is that galaxy hair color? Bruh, that's how you know that this is from another internet era. Let's look at her description. She's an awkward cinnamon roll who tries to be smegsy. That's right, I censored the S word. And she claims to have an excellent taste in music. But all she listens to is trash. She's just like me for real. Okay, so to summarize this, Mia kind of had like a puppy love kind of crush on Seth, but now that I'm gonna glow her up, I'm gonna make her like more mature. So I'm sketching out the face, oh yes. I'm giving her like these smeductive eyes. And for her hair, I'm just gonna give her those mom hairstyles, you know, like those rich soccer mom vibes. Now for her outfit, I'm gonna give her like the light academia aesthetic, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, let's color this baby up. So here's the backstory. That that I'm working with, okay? They grew up and like she still likes Seth, but she's learned to suppress it. Okay, so for the hair, it's gonna be like a dark blue, which transitions into a bright blue. Holy crap, they are blue and red? That's like freaking regular show, bro. Okay, so let's shade the hair. Okay, it's literally way easier to color female hair because it's much longer and easier to grow, you know what I'm saying? Now, let's do the same bright color transition thing like this and add some smegsy stray hair just so it doesn't look very stiff. But what I like to do is just airbrush the whole face like this. It makes her look a lot softer and more semi-realistic rather than cartoonish. And again, let's add the smegsy eyelashes. So since I'm trying to give her like sophisticated vibes, I'm just gonna give her glasses, okay? Cause like glasses are real classy. And then just add this bluish tint and lower the opacity. All right. Now we finished both Mordecai and Rigby. Now let's draw them together you know to make the video longer oh yes here's seth first seth is gonna be like looking at her while smirking because you know smirking is really hot so let's do the hair real quick Ugh, hair is always so freaking hard and now let's do the body i'm thinking of doing like a black turtleneck on the inside and then he's wearing a polo shirt outside bruh but okay we're gonna add a necklace and the color then this megzy pants okay so let's color this so i do not want to render this so let's just airbrush this red thing on his face anyway same old procedure just coloring it like so and shading the clothes so I forgot to tell you guys a while ago, but he has a dragon tattoo on his sleeve. A temporary dragon tattoo, mom and dad. Then let's add the chain. So for Mia, let's make her cross her arms. You see folks, body language is important. Like Seth here is standing smegsily with open body language. On the contrast however, she's gonna be crossing her arms to show that she's like flustered or something. I don't know. So let's like sketch some more and then color okay so here is the final one so this is the glowed up version of seth and this is mia's anyway watch this video next and like share and subscribe thank you wondershare for sponsoring this video i'll see you in the next one stay cool